Hello and what is up YouTube? It is I, G3Iron, your balding bearded buddy, back to talk some more Path of Exile 321 Necropolis League. And today we've got a discussion featuring a poll that we put up the other day. Thank you so much to everybody for voting on the poll and dropping comments on the poll. Here was the poll question. Complete the following sentence. I believe that Necropolis League and Patch is either closer to the best version of Path of Exile than the worst version, or closer to the worst version of Path of Exile than to the best version. About once a league or so, I like to throw these sorts of polls out to gauge where the community is at in terms of the immediate visceral feelings towards a particular patch and towards a particular league. Now, what's interesting about the comments that many of you left was differentiating between the league and the patch, between the core version of Path of Exile and the update and the Necropolis features, Necropolis crafting, Necropolis corpses, and Necropolis uh, atlas strategies to interact with in a trade league environment. This poll is such a small sample size. It's only 183 folks voting. Thank you to each of you who did vote, but it's a relatively small sample size. It's in no way representative of the entirety of the entire, you know, community of people playing Path of Exile. Remember that still there's thousands of people, maybe even tens of thousands of people who play Path of Exile who have no interaction on YouTube, no interaction with uh, stream discussions, host discussions, videos, build guides, etc. There is a host of people out there who just play Path of Exile with no internet discussion or internet overview or internet interaction. But enough about solo cell phone players, am I right? No. Okay. Okay, that was... I didn't mean it. <laughs> as, a, as a guy who plays solo cell phone, it's a joke. It's a joke, okay? Put the torches and pitchforks down. Okay, so here's where we're at. While this is not a representative statistic of everybody playing Path of Exile across the entire planet, this does give us a little bit of an indicator about what people are feeling in general about the patch and what people are feeling in general about the league. And it's interesting to note, this is not close in terms of the vote count. 72% believe that the current patch is, including the League, is closer to the best version of Path of Exile than to the worst version of Path of Exile. Now, we could nuance and layer this discussion, and there could be a whole bunch of us that say this is like right in the middle and it's just barely over the line of being closer to the best than the worst. There's others of us who might think this is just straight up the best league. Maybe this is your favorite league. Maybe you've just made a ton of currency. Maybe you've got some awesome characters. Maybe you're having a great time, whether that's in a solo self found environment or in a trade league environment. Maybe you're just enjoying the league in general. Maybe you're enjoying the patch in general. Maybe because of the changes to Scarabs, you're able to interact with, in combination with the Atlas Passive Tree and Scarabs, like the style of content that you would like to interact with. That's another video that I want to do uh, here in the coming days as well. Because Path of Exile, since the Atlas Tree has come out, has definitely changed as a game. But that's not today's discussion. That'll be another discussion. Anyway, for those reasons and more, maybe you think things are great. For those reasons and more, maybe you think the game's not in a healthy state right now or not in a spot, maybe not in an objective healthy sense, but just in a gameplay fun sense. Maybe you just don't enjoy it and so you think it's closer to the worst version of PoE. I'm going to highlight a couple of comments here that represent something of a diversity of opinion. Let me make this very, very clear. I used to have to do this all the time it, whenever I'm reading y'all's comments. I am not taking your stated comments and adopting them as my position, okay? My own understanding, my own opinion is divorced from your own comments when I'm reading your comment. I typically add my own comments, but I just like to add that level of nuance there. There are some folks who just hear me reading a comment or hear me responding to a thread or responding to a discussion point, and then they misattribute that. Understandingly so, understandably so. It's, it's a gray area for miscommunication, thinking, well, because G3 Iron is reading this or saying this. It's what G3 Iron thinks or espouses, etc. So just give yourself a healthy dose of reality here. When I'm quoting someone else, it's not necessarily my own opinion. It's trying to represent different people's opinions that are contributing to the discussion today. By the way, speaking of which, if you drop any comments on the video, thank you so much. I'll try my best to get back to them as time allows. Okay, so straight to the top is the first comment that I want to highlight here, which is just beautiful. I don't like this league 
But if you honestly think the game is in such a bad state, you are out of your mind. Now, here's why I like this comment, okay? Not because I'm espousing any of those particular beliefs behind it. I just like that Straight to the Top was able to come out in a very concise way and just say, you know what? I don't have an appreciation of this league, but if you think this is like the game at its worst, you're nuts. Right? That's a very strongly and concisely worded way of explaining why Straight to the Top would have voted whichever way Straight to the Top voted, which is probably closer to the best version of PoE than to the worst version, right? Just really a clear, concise explanation of why they voted the way that they did. Here's another example of it from Kikori Games. Base game is the best it has ever been. The graveyard crafting is kind of meh, but I'm not into crafting too much, to be honest. Haunting can sometimes be a little bit annoying. De devotions are nice, and I like all flame embers. That's about it. But that's a good list. That's a sizable list right away. It's digestible in terms of how concise it is as feedback to say the base game is awesome, and here are some things that I don't like or that I don't interact with with the league mechanic, but also here are some things that I am using, and here are some things that I am enjoying, even if it is annoying. Again, very concise, very easy to see why Kikori Games would have voted the way that they voted. I know I teased SSFers a moment ago, but I want to represent some here with Christopher Champion's uh, quote here. All right, so he says, I think if you play solo cell found, this is as good as it gets. The base game finally has quality of life not before seen, along with more various ways to deterministic farm for most builds, more that wasn't previously a thing. Necropolis itself, however, feels very meh to me, and trade is getting worse and worse every league. They need to find a way to pump up some of the mechanics to balance the economy back out, because man, it's busted and has been for a while. So encapsulated in this comment, the reason why I'm highlighting it and why I enjoyed it so much is because it encapsulates kind of both ends of the extreme. Like, there is clearly the expression of there's room for improvement. Necropolis has got some some clear misses in this player's evaluation of the league mechanic and of its implementation and of its effect on the economy and player's enjoyment in a trade league environment. That's on the one hand, right? That's the part that's that's kind of dragging saying, yeah, this is why I might complete the sentence saying this is closer to the worst version of PoE than the best. But comes back with the other hand and says, this is as good as it gets for SSF. Let me say that loudly and clearly out there to a whole bunch of players who are supposedly very angry and upset at Trade League, and it happens every single league. It's happened for the last decade while I've been covering Path of Exile. Every single Trade League, something happens. Players in Trade League don't like it, and supposedly, allegedly, that's the reason why a whole bunch of players quit. I am now, after 10 years of doing this, far more of the opinion that folks who quit a league, maybe the economy is a factor in why they quit the league. But the reason why people quit a league is because they're not having fun actually playing their character. Now, again, the economy might actually like play into that because you use the economy to, to build out your character, to finish out items for your character. But if a league is fun, but you feel underpowered, you will still play the league in order to reach those levels of power that you want to get to, right? That's some of the nature of playing a character building game where you have less power at one point and more power as you progressively go grow your character and experience more of the game. If you're not having fun doing that part of the game, growing your character and experiencing more and more power as you incrementally improve your character, if you're not having fun doing that, you're going to leave the game, right? At least that's, that's what I advise players to do and that's what in my general friend group, that's what we notice. When players stop having fun actually playing the game, we stop playing the game. It can be for a wide variety of reasons, but that's the ultimate consequence. If you don't enjoy the gameplay, you actually leave. And so here, Christopher is coming in with a, a very helpful opinion to say, look, play some solo cell found because this is as good as it gets playing solo cell found. And I appreciate somebody being able to articulate, again, both the negatives of the league in terms of its trade league impact and why some players might not like it, while at the same time having a mature level head and saying, look, this is as good as it gets for solo cell found. I think the last time that I saw this many positive comments relating to a league and solo cell found was Harvest and Bestiary. 
right? Those Both of those two leagues were incredibly friendly for solo self-found players, whether it was on the actual solo self-found ladder once the ladder came out, or if it was as the ladder was emerging, but most players still played in a trade league environment, but basically approached the game as a honor code solo self-found player. Being able to craft your own gear is an incredibly powerful tool just in any version of Path of Exile, but especially for solo self-found players, it adds for a diversity of builds that you may never otherwise be able to play simply because more build archetypes open up if you can target craft specific gear that allows you to play certain things, whether that's, let's say, crafting mana for a mana stacker with like Archmage, or maybe that's maybe evening out your resistances because you can really target resistance-based gear, which gives you more free passives on the tree that you don't have to dedicate towards defenses like all resist or like specific other resistances, and you can now put those passive points into other things. Maybe that's using unique items that you found because you can now use rare items in other spaces on your character to make up for whatever you lost by using a unique item that enables your entire build. So there's a whole variety of reasons why being able to powerfully craft your own gear is an important component to solo cell phone. Okay, three quick comments here to again summarize <laughs> where players are at. So PH8680 says, weird question, PoE base game is too good after 10 plus years of improvements to realistically choose option two. League is worse than Calandra though and the worst I've ever played. Okay, so that's that just perfectly encapsulates where so many players, at least from what I'm reading, feel with the 324 Necropolis League. Like, game is great, tons of players are playing, the numbers show that there's a ton of players still playing, even two weeks into the league. Tons of players are playing, lots of retention, good retention numbers, very active player base. And yet, for all of that, players go, yeah, we're playing a whole bunch and we hate the league. Like, it's it's just a, it's just a great, it's just a great comment that really captures kind of the love-hate nature of this particular patch in this particular league. Yo Yo Moon 95 uh, 92 says, I have to say the league mechanics are not interesting to me. The league challenge rewards are meh, but all the other changes, Atlas, Scarabs are wonderful. That said, I'm not attracted to this league, right? So somebody's saying, I hate the league, but I'm playing a crap ton of the actual game itself because the base game and the end game is so awesome. I think this is where Grinding Gear Games has just absolutely wiped the floor with every other action RPG competitor on the market. There is not another action RPG on the market that has an end game system like Path of Exile. And again, more future videos yet to come. I don't think Path of Exile 2 is even gonna be able to compete with Path of Exile 1, simply because like we've said, 10 years plus worth of development on PoE 1 and PoE 1 end game stages, PoE 2 is not gonna have that, especially since it's a separate game, right? When PoE 2 was originally announced, as the same game with two different paths to get to the same end game, shared end game, there was at least a vision there and an opportunity for 10 years worth of improvements and lessons and content to be brought over into the end game. PoE 2 is not going to have that. So its end game is starting afresh. And any action RPG on today's market is going to be evaluated, whether it's fair or not, it's going to be evaluated by the top end game versions of other action RPGs on the market. Top one, of course, at least in my humble opinion, and of course in many of yours, is going to be Path of Exile. And so for the end game to be at the spot where mwah, it is just chef's kiss, you can just play whatever style of content that you want, it'll probably make you currency. If you're playing in solo cell phone, it'll probably give you different opportunities to build different characters. The end game is at such a spot right now that players basically can't go wrong. It's really tough to play an in-game version of a build the wrong way as long as you're enjoying the build, right? There's always optimizations and, and more issues of efficiency. But the game itself for 10 years has been really curated and made so that way the base game and the end game versions of content and characters and your choices as a player for interacting with those content and characters are just absolutely at the best stage that they could ever possibly be in, at least in the last you know, several leagues, if not for the entire duration of Path of Exile. I'll leave you with that as a question if you want to comment on it. Is there a league or is there a patch where you've ever felt the end game of Path of Exile was better than what it's at right now. I recognize there are some players who are bossing players who are saying that this is not a great league for bossing. I recognize that. Like there's no uber end game boss, uh, you know, like that's affiliated with Necropolis that spits out tier zero uniques. I get that. But there's other end game bosses that spit out tier zero uniques. Like there's so many different forms of content that players can enjoy. If you want to be a speedy mapper, you can do that. 
if you want to play just a, a single target DPS kind of character that takes on bosses, you can do that. If you want to play a tanky character that never dies, you can do that. I mean, the, the archetypes that are available to players now and the diversity of gameplay styles that are available to players maybe has never been higher, meaning that players can, whatever it is that they picked for their league starter or their second character, they're probably having a better time now and they're choosing to play with content that they want to play with because of Scarabs and the Atlas passive. Which probably also has a big, uh, a big factor in the player retention and the player numbers that we're seeing over tracking on the ladder based on the number of players who are still sticking around. Anyway, those are some thoughts. Those are some comments. Thanks so much once again to everybody for voting. You can, of course, see all of these sorts of polls and voting things that we put out over on the community page here on YouTube. We do it from time to time. We also do it all over onto Patreon. If you're enjoying any of the content, any of the discussions that we pump out, we do appreciate all of our Patreon supporters and we thank them every single video because without our Patreon supporters, like we would not have two monitors and two screens and webcams and awesome recording microphones and computers and lighting and green screens. So thank you so much to everybody who has supported over the years through Patreon. If you'd like to sign up, of course, there's a link down below if you want to support the channel. But anyway, thanks so much for joining us for today's discussion. If you do leave a comment, I will try to get back to you as time allows. Thanks so much, and I hope the ongoing 324 Necropolis League, whether it's the best or worst version of Path of Exile, I hope it is the league that a Mirror of Calandra drops for you. Thanks for watching that video. If you'd like more information on any of our discussion points today, you can see them down below in the video description. If you'd also like to join our Discord or support our Patreon, you can do so with the links down below. Thanks again, and big shout out to all of our Patreon supporters.